so you bought this place a month ago. Yes. And you're going to turn it over the next year into an off-grid, awesome, what, like a... Well, like a retreat, kind of. I want to bring in people that do other types of workshops, like, a, you know, like from beekeeping to energy work, like, a, you know, anything really, permaculture, anything. Just get finding the people and getting them here and creating that kind of sense of community. You have such spot. a, it's such a great spot. It really is. I'm so internally jealous <laughs> right now. <laughs> oh, I'm in love. I'm in love with this place. Like, yeah. it's taken my heart for sure. And, uh, yeah, just kind of create that type of spot. I mean, like, down the line, too, like, I'd like to be able to um, get involved with a, got a friend who guides um, people on fishing trips and hunting trips. And yeah, because you have 80 acres here. Yeah, there definitely is opportunity to pair up with someone like him, too, and, and, and you know, kind of bring other sources of, I guess, of income from a business perspective in that way. And I'm getting you on social media, so go, you got to check her out because I'm telling her she's got to start Instagramming. You might do some other stuff. We'll see. But uh, <laughs> I, I, I think people are going to be really interested in like the progress you're making here, yeah. especially because you're here on your own. Yeah. And that's huge. Like, yeah. You know, she doesn't look at it. This woman like hauls wood like you wouldn't believe. Like, she is <laughs> she's a burly lady. A burly lady. Mm-hmm. Oh, my. Yeah. 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 So it'll be, it's, it's going to be, it's, it's all about the process that you write. I don't just. Whether it gets to that where I see it in my head or not, like, I mean, nothing shows up as the way you picture it, right? Mm. It's, I think it's more just the process of, of making this something that's going to be the best part. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, it's my last morning here with Kat, and uh, I'm taking off, I think, to Fredericton first, and then I want to see the Bay of Fundy and maybe Moncton. I had my other couch surfers kind of fall through and I've been sending out a lot of messages. I have no idea where I'm sleeping tonight. But that's, you know, that's not too bad. It's been a little bit warmer lately. So hopefully uh, camping, if I camp tonight, will be a lot more enjoyable than it was before. And then I just got to make some decisions. Am I going to go to PEI? Am I going to go to southern Nova Scotia or northern Nova Scotia? Like, where am I going to go? All I know is that in um, five days, roughly, I want to be in Halifax. So hit the road. Off to go, say goodbye to some new friends, make some other ones on the road. All packed up, just about ready to go. And look at this. On. Nothing. Battery is dead arena. So, uh, Kat's gonna help me out again. The millionth thing. <laughs> uh, where is your battery on the side? I don't know, I think it's on the side. I'm gonna pull it off. All right, she's finally started. Thank you so much for everything. No it's been amazing, I'll see you in Ottawa. Or the deserts. Yeah, yeah, deserts would be nice. Alright. Well, that's it for that. Um, I'm just at the closest Canadian tire. I'm going to do a quick oil change because it's been quite a few kilometers. Picked up some more lube for the chain. And uh, yeah, I'm going to do an oil change in the back of a parking lot. But it's a motorbike, so it's easy, so it shouldn't be hard. And I've also got to replace the washer because the tap bolt is leaking just a bit. Off to work.
God. Damn it. It's gotta be one of the most beautiful places on earth. I cannot get enough of this. Holy crap. Holy crap. Lady at the gas station told me this is apparently a local favorite. Deluxe French fries, famous fish and chips. All right, let's go have some fish and chips. I've never had fish and chips like that. That was good. It's like creamy and fluffy inside the. Oh, mm. There's a big train. It's a big port here, big harbor. St. John's, man. Yeah. Anyway. Another wild camping spot tonight. This time uh, I'm a little bit more secluded, but I'm not too far from the road. And the lights from the road light up the campsite every once in a while, just a bit. Um, and I figure close enough to the road, the animals won't be really a big issue. Either way, I'm not carrying any food and I take some necessary precautions. But yeah, it's just a place to sleep and I get to look up and see the stars, which is really nice. That, that's it for me tonight. Tomorrow I'm doing Bay of Fundy and hopefully, all going well, Moncton.